Okay, starting this week, play GTA Online anytime between June 4th to June 10th to get GTA 200,000 deposited into your Maze Bank account within 72 hours. Play each of the next three weeks will get you an additional 200 grand each week, culminating with an additional 200,000 months for playing all four weeks for rewards totaling 1 million. All right, I'm already a Twitch Prime guy, and I think it's pretty safe to say I'm going to be uh, hitting all those weeks, so we're good. Huzzah! Maybe we should spend some of that. They're not kidding. Your login gift is here. Woo! 200 grand. A boogity, a boogity, a boogity boo. Logging in. Okay, I took advantage of a sale a while back and turbo customized this tornado, and I've never been happy with a customized tornado. Now, I understand that, you know, for the first time, and I have the silliest video up there, and I have to put it in the comments, I finally figured this out, that it turns them in, it turns the hard top into a rag top, so you can't customize the top. But, I never did anything with it, and I have to do something with this that makes me like it. Otherwise, you know, why, why keep it? I mean, it's not... It's not fast. I mean, I, I know what you're saying. Well, what's wrong with that? Well, when you go to a custom, it puts those tiny custom wheels on it. And it just, it makes the car look bigger and boatier and more square and just, just, um, just, uh, I have to figure out what I can do with this thing to make it less like that. Okay, that was, wow. Um, that's going to be expensive. <laughs> I, I hit a curb. I was just driving to Benny's and it all just went wrong. This is going to be expensive, but I'm not going to drive it all the way back. To, uh, to fix it. Although, if I have any space, let's, let's change, change plans here. If I have any space in my workshop garages. If I park it in there temporarily, then it'll get repaired for free. And I have the full range of, uh, the full range of Benny's upgrades. Let's do that. Or... Okay, let's see. It's a little rock. It's a little bouncy. A wee bit bouncy. What do you think? you think we have any room? I don't know if I have any room in any garages. which is another hole there. Issue. Um, do you want? No. Okay. Main workshop? Alright, there's room in the main workshop. Where it'll immediately get fixed. And now, we can modify. What are we doing then? What's it going to be? I should make a note of exactly how much money I go through on this car. Let's let's see. We're at fifty million four hundred and three thousand. All right. Then we'll go start off here. Interestingly, interestingly enough, I've done some stuff to this. So I'm not sure. Front bumper. All right. Now I have to put some thigh. I'm not going to make you go through the whole thing. Okay. Look, I'll make you go through a little bit. That is somehow, I mean, you're just more square. Like, the, the heavier, squarer, beefier. That, both of those are things I'm trying, I want, I want to keep it uh, less than that. Rear bumpers. Okay, the wheel bumper, again, beefier. I, I do that with my with, with T-Birds, but it's just not something I want to do. With the, 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 the 57 Chevy rear end is just a thing. Arch covers. All right, I mean, I can do the, the arch covers might work for me because my problem is the wheels. Chrome arch covers. Full chrome arch cover. What's the difference between a chrome arch cover and a full chrome arch covers? Chrome detail art. That's just a detail. I see. So you have to have both. Hmm. 
Hmm. We'll think about aerials. Classic is spring aerials. Globe aerials. Really classic. Oh yeah, sexy shit. Trim. That's gonna determine. The, you know, that's gonna be based on whatever I end up going with. Tank. Second. It's like what's the gas tank? You're not letting me look at it. All right, well, we, we could we could think about that later. Let's see when we get to engine block. Hmm. I know I said I wasn't going to make you go through all this. Ah, the chromed out basic one kind of. This still looks like the most realistic engine here. Air filters. Yeah, vertical ramp pipes, obviously. Okay, we're already sped up. Twin side pipes, twin exhaust. Triple shotgun side exhaust. Yeah, we're, we're going to stick with the side pipes. Fenders. We've already got fender ornaments. I don't really see anything. Okay. Right. Hood. It's going to depend on what. We, I guess our hope here is in the uh, the livery. I can stick with the standard pump on this. I don't want to go crazy. Hold off on the interior because I don't know what I'm doing with the livery. Classic pinstripe. Coils. Pimp pinstripe. This doesn't go with the red. <laughs> the girls. This is quite artistic. I'm sure it was the direction I intended to go with the car originally, but. That one looks good, but it's slightly disturbing. So we're gonna see. We're gonna me stick with none. Right now let me ponder this. I don't know what I'm doing yet. Now there's roof. And I can. Well, I couldn't find the roof out. I couldn't find a way of changing the color of the roof. Zebra roof. Now that I know that it's. It is a drop top. thought maybe if I went off-road tires, maybe it would look a little beefier, but they just look like tiny off-road tires. Like, I just want the original wheels back on this thing. And it's not an option. Oh, I say it's not an option. Yeah, these are the original wheels, but they look smaller. They don't fill the wheel wheel. They don't fill the wheel wells. The way the other ones did, and it doesn't look like anything does.
heavy rated with Dude, it's a small wheel problem back. The color is good, but the small wheel problem.
So here you have it. We've gone with a carbon black, which kind of hides, it, 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 it kind of masks, because if there's more black in here, it makes the tires look a little bit bigger. I think that's what's going on visually from here. So the car works a little bit better, as far as that's concerned. Okay, I'm going to go for a saddle brown accent, so that it kind of matches the wood in the car. See what I mean? See what I'm going there? All kind of ties together. Okay, let us ponder. Right now, I mean, I would lean towards leaving it through this kind of majestic state. That looks like a... that looks nice. It really does. But... But... I mean, there are other options. Classic. That's just kind of no, not really. I could have glow. Now the interesting thing, because I've got the black base, you can add more color to it, and it's still the wheels aren't really throwing me off again. You know, it's you can make it a brighter car. Kind of the Matrix. That's why it's Neo Geometric. There you go. It's the Matrix car. That's a thought. That'd be a good one for the black. <laughs> the Matrix shower. Shimmering down the back of the trunk. That's neat. Again, it works really well with the black. The girls. Now that's... Here's how to get a purple car with the black undercarriage. There you go. Feeling this car may be getting multiple paint jobs at some point. That kind of works too. It's bright yet not. I mean, no. Okay, now that that works almost too well. That's a scary. That looks like it's something right out of a movie. The car looks like it is actually on fire. Yeah, yeah. We're we're not gonna go that road. That's. We'll let somebody else have the, the classic turbo flames look on it. It all kind of comes down to what what do you want in the garage? I mean, this looks really cool. No question about it. Neo Geometric, that looks really cool. The rest of them, not so much working with. I think you need brighter colors to work with some of them. The, the, the decorative glow pinstripe kind of worked, and, but you know, honestly, I think I might just stick with the uh, the Harvey Earl kind of thing here. Let me look at the, um, the fenders here. Okay, those are the ornaments. All right, that's the. Where is. Bumpers, brakes, chassis, arch covers. Here we go. Now, does that add to the overall look? Yeah, see, there's a, there's a certain beauty and simplicity too. Put a livery tank just in case we ever put a livery on this, which may happen. We're done. Good. Let's exit the arena for the time being. That's the first one of those. I still have red smoke on it from when I had the red paint. LBT, you don't do anything with me anymore. Let's get back up to the uh, the nightclub. And I might be just in a mood with these kind of these more stoic designs. I might repaint it later. But wow, I'm going on. Look 
Because I did just bring back my, um, this, this is going to match up really well next to my, my gray peyote. About matching everything up with the pajamas, we should. You know, one thing we should do. That's this, which took me forever to figure out, was a thing. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is a thing. I could definitely cruise with this. Again, the, the wheels aren't bothering me anymore because you got the dark frame uh, color. Maybe you can't see it. Maybe you're maybe you're thinking I lost my mind. And there's a, always <laughs> a possibility that I've lost my mind. And that's a thing. But I don't think it's today. I think this this kind of works. Maybe it's too much of doing the same thing over again that I did with the POD, but yeah, I can always repaint it. Could be just as simple as slapping the girls on the side, or that doesn't sound good, but you know what I mean, the girls' uh, livery. You don't want to slap girls, no, it's not a good thing. That was weird that I jumped around basement level three. I may be influenced by the fact, now that I think about it, there is a black 57 Chevy that cruises around my neighborhood. That is just incredible. <laughs> this is practically... Did I use the actual same... No, I think I used some kind of stone silver on it, rolled steel on this, didn't I? Didn't I? The, the same wheels... Okay, so we've got kind of a theme going here, did we not? You gotta admit, looks good on both of them. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't put the, the spare tire on that one. Otherwise, they'd, then you'd, then that'd be a whole other, you know, thing. <laughs> on that note, let's just walk up here, change view. There you go. See, it's all about the pajamas. That's what, that's what it all comes down to, for the CEO in pajamas. On that note, this is your Black Knight. I'm the Black Knight. Why wouldn't I have a couple black cars? Have a great night. And for the record, it looks like we spent what? A little under 150k doing that. That's not too bad. <laughs>